Hi, welcome to Aon Learning Point. In this session, we will cover count functions in Excel, which is a part of statistical function. We'll discuss count, counter, count blank, countif, and countif functions in detail and their differences. Count function counts numbers only. If there is a no numeric and empty value, then it will ignore those values and count only numeric values. Here we have a vendor code mentioned here in the column A and we have to find out the count of the vendor code. We click on the cell A3 and in the formula bar we write the function as count. Here the argument is the value 1 so we can supply the value as A6, A7, A8, A8. Either we can supply the value like this or we simply give the range of values from A6 to a11 press the enter it will give you the count as 3 as the count function will count the numbers only so it will count 21 31 and 56 and give the count as 3 and counter function count both the numbers and no numeric values except the empty cell to find out the numeric and the non numeric value we'll use the count a function we select the cell b3 and write the formula as counter and give the values from b b6 to b11 it will give the count as 5 as the counter counter function will count the numeric and the non-numeric values count blank function count only empty cell value and if there is any other value supplied it will ignore those values to find out the count of the empty cell, we'll use the count blank function. We click on the cell C3 and write the formula as count blank. Give the range from C6 to C11. Press enter. It will give the count as 1 as we have a only one empty cell in the selected range. Count if function count as per the criteria applied. We need to enter two arguments here. First one is the range to count and the second one is the criteria that to be applied. We can apply only one condition here. We have our data here in the column A. Date is mentioned in the B item category product and their sales. So the ask in the question one is to count the product sold after 1st of April 2021. So we have a condition here we'll use the count F function. We'll select the cell F6 and write the formula as count if press the tab button to select the count if here we can see the argument the first one is the range and the second is the criteria so we supply the range a22, A11, comma, the criteria is the 1st of April 2021. So if the criteria is in text format, we will put under the double quotes. If it is number, we write the number as it is. So here the criteria is greater than 1st of April. We put under the double quotes and write the criteria as greater than 1st of April 2021. Close the bracket, press the enter button, it will give the count of products sold, which is after 1st of April 2021. So the next one is the count the item category named electronics. So we have a one condition here, again we'll use the count a function. The range is the item category from B2 to B11, comma. And electronics is the text, so we put under double quotes and write it as electronics. Close the bracket, press the enter, it will give the count of item category which is electronics. Count ifs is similar to count if function with the difference is we can apply multiple condition in count ifs function whereas in count if we can apply only single condition. The next question third which is asking to count the product sold having sales more than 20,000 which is after 1st of April 2021. So we have a two condition here we cannot use the count if function as we 
uh, as count if works only with the one condition so we'll use count ifs function here we select the cell at 6 and write the formula as count count ifs so we can see the argument criteria range 1 criteria 1 and so on so we can supply the multiple range and the multiple criteria so our first criteria is the sale which is greater than 20000 so we'll select the range as d2 to d11 comma the criteria under double quotes greater than 20000 comma Next one is the date greater than 1st of April, the range A2 to A11, comma, criteria, criteria under the double quotes, which is greater than 1st of April 2021. Close the bracket, press the enter, it will give the count. So the use case of counter function to find out the duplicate value. So we have an employee ID and employee name listed here. So by using the counter function, we'll find out the duplicate employee ID. So we write the formula as count if select the range a17 to A24, press the F4 key to freeze the range, comma, and in the criteria, give the reference A17, and it will keep changing if we drag the formula from, uh, from above to lower. Copy the formula and paste into the lower cells. So, here the value 1, it means the employee ID 1 is unique and coming only once in the range. So here we can see the employee ID 3, the duplicate value here is 2, it means it is repeating twice. If it is 3, it means uh, the, the employee ID is coming thrice in the range supplied here and so on. So this is very important formula to find out the duplicate value or the duplicate row in the daily use. You can DIY using the sample data downloaded from the link mentioned in the description box and do comment if you are facing any kind of issues. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming videos. You can send your queries to email id that's aonlearningpoint at gmail.com.